What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here as you guys can see up on the screen today I want to talk a little bit about Mullen Automotive Incorporated This is ticker symbol M U L N and this is one of the most popular stocks on the market right now This is everywhere. Everyone is talking about this thing. Um, I mean that's partly because We've seen such a crazy run up, up 189% over the past month. You know, anyone who has gotten invested in this thing over the last month or so has, has been able to, to just make a ton of money. And when you're making a ton of money, you're going to be talking about it. Um, when people see other people making a ton of money, they're going to be talking about that. Uh, and that's just kind of what's going on now over the past three months. It's been rough. It's been very, very up and down, which also, hey, volatility is interesting. Volatility is entertaining. Volatility gets people going. On the way down, people are losing money. That's a story. Maybe people are shorting it and making money. That's a story. On the bounce back, people are making money, losing money, all this stuff. It's just a lot going on with Mullen right now, and everyone has an opinion. It's a very, very polarizing stock in the EV space, already super polarizing, um, and just all these different things, you know, short squeeze potential, high short interest. It's got a little bit of everything, and that's what makes it so interesting. And in this video today, we're going to be going over all the latest for MULN, um, so you guys have an idea of kind of what's going on, what all the, the latest info and news is. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that a ton. Uh, and subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content so you guys don't miss out on anything we got going on in the near future. Uh, of course, as always, there's going to be no financial advice in this video. I'm not telling you guys to buy. I'm not telling you guys to sell. Uh, nothing like that. Just giving some of my thoughts and opinions on the news. So... With that being said, let's get right into this. Obviously, today wasn't the most amazing day for Mullen. Um, we're down 1.65% during the day. After hours, we're down 3.36%. It's a little bit rough. Um, you know, we're at 288, but um, today's just Thursday. We still have Friday to see what's going to happen. Obviously, a crazy volatile stock like this. Um, people aren't always super excited to, to hold something like this over the weekend, especially um, during crazy times like we're seeing in the market right now where it seems like everything's going down. Again, Mullen's down like 40% year to date or whatever and that's in just three months that's crazy that's a tough pill to swallow but this was interesting because we started out the day pretty green and we were you know above uh where we were at yesterday until like almost noon and then down and then back up and then down again you know mullen just couldn't decide what it wanted to do but overall when we look at the rest of the market you know dow jones down 1.56 s p down 1.57 nasdaq down 1.54 russell down uh one so the fact that we're down 1.65 it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. We're in line with the most of the market. Um, and, and, you know, if Mullen, a, a volatile, crazy stock like this on a red day, if they're pretty much keeping pace with the rest of the market, pretty much keeping pace with the major indices, I would say that's a success for Mullen. Um, because, uh, again, on the green days, you hope it's going to outperform. And if on the red days, you're keeping pretty close, um, then that's kind of, that's a really good spot. Again, it's like, if everything's down, you can't expect Mullen to be the one thing that's up or the one thing that's green that day. But some of the stories I want to talk about, we have this from Investor Place. Uh, they wrote an article talking about five big investors betting on Mullen Automotive. Um, again, like I said, Mullen is a very, very controversial stock. It's one that a lot of people are avoiding. A lot of people are staying away from. A lot of people are advising people to stay away from. Um, well, let's hear about you know some of the people who, who maybe think you should invest in or maybe think this company is a massive opportunity. Um, so we have the Aquitas Group. Uh, they're betting big on Mullen stock. They're the largest shareholder of Mullen. Based on the 13G filing received by the SEC, uh, Quitas owns 29.3 million shares of the company. Um, 18 million shares uh, of common stock are held directly. Meanwhile, they have the right to purchase uh, 700,000 shares of Series C preferred shares that can be converted into common stock by November 5th. Uh, the remaining shares are made up of currently owned Series C preferred shares and warrants that can be converted into common stock. So obviously they have a massive, massive holding. Um, and, and, you know, this is somebody that's, I assume, really, really excited. I wish this article would say, um, you know, like what their cost basis and everything was and kind of what they're looking at there, if that's uh, obviously known or not. But um, yes, a big, big bet here, 29.3 million shares. We also have uh, Asusa uh, Holdings is the second largest shareholder of Mullen. Um, they provided uh, $30 million in equity uh, line to help strengthen the company's balance sheets. According to Whale Wisdom, which tracks all 13 F filers, 34 uh, funds own Mullen stock as of quarter four. This is an increase of 12 funds in the prior quarter. So again, going from 12 to 34, there's a lot of other you know funds and, and different uh, investing firms and stuff 
going in on Mullen to varying degrees. Obviously, some bets are bigger than others, but still, you know, you're talking at least hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars in most of these cases. Um, in addition, 18 funds initiated new positions during the quarter, while six funds close their position. With that in mind, let's take a look at the next three big shareholders. We have uh, Cetera Advisor Network with 219,000 shares. We have BlackRock, obviously very, very famous group um, and a group that a lot of people uh, think is, is good and makes sound investments and generally makes good decisions. Uh, at least some people do. Uh, 195,000 shares. And then we have Vanguard with 188,000 shares as well. So just kind of gives you an idea. Again, I think it's a good sign that the funds holding Mullen are, are increasing. There's more rather than less. Uh, I do think, uh, obviously, that's kind of to be expected because, um, you know, we were at 52 week highs before 1590. Look at this past year. You know, we were at $10, $10, $10. We were at 12, 13, 15. And now we're at 298. Even though we're up 200% in the last month or whatever, we're still significantly off those 52 week highs. Uh, and you got to think that most companies are looking to buy low and sell high look at this graph, you know, we're, we're pretty low. Yes, we're significantly off the 52 week lows now, but overall in the grand scheme of things, the general kind of trajectory of this company, we're pretty, pretty significantly off those lows. So it makes more sense that companies would be, uh, and firms would be buying more into this now. We have this uh, from the MULN subreddit. We have unusual whales tweeting out breaking Biden is invoking a defense production act uh, to boost EV sales and storage battery minerals. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, obviously not bad news for Mullen. If, if something like this doesn't end up happening or going through or whatever, um, it's going to be a good sign. Obviously Mullen is in the process of starting to, you know, land some big deals, have some big clients starting to, uh, fulfill some orders and stuff, hopefully here soon, some, some deliveries and production, all this stuff. Um, so if they're, you know, getting funding from the government or if the government's just pushing EVs more in general, you know, that rising tide is going to lift all ships and Mullen could be a part of this. You know, yes, obviously other companies are probably going to be, um, you know, on the forefront of stuff like this, like Tesla, obviously, and, and maybe even some of the other uh, American car companies and stuff like that. But Mullen, uh, if EVs boom, even if it's this isn't directly impacting Mullen, which I think it is, still Mullen could could get a nice little boost off this. So this is definitely a good sign. Uh, more and more people, you know, pushing EVs and and more funding for that and more legislation and everything. Um, we also have this Mullen CEO David Mishery is now paying attention to retail investors. He stays on top of things. Um, you know, it looks like he tweeted out um, how Mullen pushes higher again as social media interest stays elevated. He knows um, how popular his company is on social media. He knows uh how popular it is with retail investors and you know a guy like elon musk who plays to the retail investor angle a lot plays to the public you see the kind of things tesla has been able to do you know trade at crazy multiples and have a cult like following and be able to weather through crazy storms and have so many people backing them up and going to battle for them and all that stuff seems like david mishri taking a little play out of that playbook um seeing that his company is very popular in the eye of social media and trying to play into that and trying to help those things out as well hopefully um you know he doesn't just talk a big game because Tesla has talked a big game, but they've also delivered in a lot of ways as well. Hopefully Mullen can do similar things, you know, if they do want to follow that Tesla uh, framework. Uh, and then finally, back to the news that we were talking about yesterday, how a Fortune 500 company is purchasing Mullen cargo vans. We have more and more people talking about who they think this is. Obviously, the top comment here is somebody mentioned that the FedEx headquarters is in Memphis. Mullen is starting a factory there. Maybe this big partnership could be with FedEx. I know some people are saying Amazon, but like people say here, Amazon already has a deal with Rivian, so it's unlikely to be Amazon. Uh, some people are saying UPS makes a ton of sense. Maybe Coke and Pepsi makes a ton of sense. Some people are saying Walmart. You know, we have all these different options and it's going to be very very interesting to see one who this fortune 500 company ends up being two what that deal looks like amount money years all that stuff uh and then three how mullen's able to actually uh carry out that deal if they do a good job or not and i guess four how the stock pops in the short term on the announcement of, the, of, of that deal how excited the market is about it and all that stuff because that's going to be very very interesting to follow as well but that is pretty much it for this video today guys let me drop a like if you did enjoy it i would appreciate that so so much leave a comment down below let me know what you think about muln i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions subscribe stay up to date on all my latest content i hope to catch you guys in the next one but until then peace